Hello, friends. Welcome to today's Daily Devotion. We are wrapping up this week of getting ready for Jesus coming, entering into God's story because Jesus has entered into our story. And so today, the story takes us to the New Testament book of Colossians, reading chapter 1, verses 15 through 20. Hear now these words. The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in Him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through Him and for Him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. There's a childhood uh, church retreat, campground, summer VBS kind of song. You may have heard it before. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. And we have these hand motions that go with it. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. And we would sing this song and remind ourselves of how amazing God is. But do you realize that all the amazing bigness of God, the master of the universe, was contained in the small fragility of a newborn little boy. Christmas asks us to believe what seems to be impossible, impractical, ridiculous, that God chose to become one of us. Back in the days that I was in the business world, one of the things that we would hear was go big or go home, with the idea being that you need that big, audacious idea and you want to make it as big and spread it as far as you can. Otherwise, why even try? And indeed, Facebook and Google and Microsoft and Apple, all of these various companies that are huge today were small but big ideas. Well, here's the funny thing. God was already big, and so he said, go small and go home. My friends, we need to let God get small enough to fit into our lives and home enough to be a part of our lives in the most intimate way ways possible. Allow Jesus to come into your life and be the supreme part of your life. Let him be the one who brings everything together for you and for me and our interactions with those around us so that we are able to make what's invisible visible. What is that thing? Love. Go local, go home. Let love go big in you. And I hope this will be the way you get ready for Jesus. Here at Goldston Methodist Church, we are a people striving to do this, and you're invited to be a part of this movement. (laughs) Come be local 
with us. We are at 185 Hillcrest Avenue in Goldston, North Carolina. If you are anywhere close to us geographically and you're able to be with us in person, please come and be a part of our gathered experience. We will meet at 10 a.m. for Sunday School Faith Formation, and then at 11 a.m. we will have worship and praise of Jesus Christ. If you can't be with us in person, then you're welcome to be a part of our online virtual community. We live stream on Facebook at 11 on Sunday mornings, and that video is posted to YouTube so that you can be a part of what we're doing remotely if you can't be here locally. I personally think there's no substitute for being a part of a local congregation, but if that is not possible for you, for whatever reason, don't let that hold you back from being part of what God is doing. And I'll see you on Monday for another Daily Devotion. Thank you.